Hawaii. Yeah. Now you can see that it added game capture as a source. If you now want to add a text, you can go ahead, go to text, OK, and add a text. Hit OK, and now you can move it around on the picture. In case you want to stream something else than a game capture, you can choose something else in the bottom here. You can, for example, capture your whole display or your browser or anything else. Please mind that your sources will be layered, so if you want to have the, the text over the game capture, you'll have to... ...adjust the volume. Right, well I think we're live now. This is BitTube and this is Roger Lewis. Um, Hello Conquest of Doers and the, uh, the new, hopefully to soon be burgeoning, uh, online democracy portal, which is the title of this live stream, uh, which is um, Canton Based Direct Democracy Model. Um, I've only just set up BitTube, I'm importing uh, onto it at the moment from my uh, YouTube channel, um, I, uh, some of which have actually uh, landed um, and are actually on the uh, on my channel. Here we are, Cone Freaks, and uh, so far so good. Uh, these are the ones that have so far made it through. Um, Anyway, so what is this Canton Direct Democracy? Here you can see the logo that we made. Um, well, the story goes like this. Um, on Brexit, uh, which um, obviously has been occupying the minds of many of us uh, since the referendum was first called um, back in 2015, um, after the general election that happened, uh, when David Cameron, um, surprisingly to him and the rest of us, actually won a majority in that parliament. The referendum happened and, uh, big surprise, uh, the majority was for leaving the EU. Um, and then from that point on in, there's been um, a division in uh, uh, the British uh, society, in the chattering classes, although the chattering cla classes, I think you would generally categorise or or, or characterise as being uh, remainers, um, the skinny latte liberal metropolitan elites, um, for whatever reason, they seem to think that the EU is this uh, democratic nirvana, um, and this is really um, uh, then outside of that kind of constituency. There are um, people who uh, feel that the EU is too protectionist, so these may be people that have done you know, reasonably well out of neoliberalism, but feel that it's not a free market enough. Uh, and then on the other side, there's the um, people that uh, from, from the old British left who see the um, uh, EU for what it is. It started as a European steel um, and coal uh, cartel uh, and then morphed through various stages to what we have now um, and uh, um, and this split in, in British society is reflected across the EU I mean um, uh, there's a hung parliament in Sweden right now just about every election that happens um, enough people are kind of waking up to the idea that hey you know this Washington consensus uh, rules based international order thing that all of our sort of carbon you know cookie cutter politicians um, uh, represent are certainly not representing us um, now whether one agrees with that or not uh, but it happens I, I just said it and I mean it uh, that's what I think um, but uh, 
uh, what is democracy, uh, what is representative democracy, what is direct democracy, um, what is autocracy, what is oligarchy. Um, there are lots and lots of political flavours in the Baskin Robbins of democracy and uh, the flavour we have right now is uh, a pretty bland vanilla, uh, there is no alternative, every flavour is flavour European Union federalism as it were. Now um, we see elections um, manipulated, the fake news narratives are that that manipulation is from Russia, from Cambridge Analytica, from uh, unspecified, unknown um, billionaires, um, you know, there's lots of finger pointing goes on, um, but what is quite clear is that populations, that's you and me folks, are propagandised, um, and um, uh, this is under the banners of political correctness and public relations and uh, its suggestion and it's the the great modern tricks of the mind and creating wants um, and ignoring demands um, forgetting about necessity and concentrating on um, egotistical reflection um, and by that I mean that instead of people dealing with their authentic wants and needs um, there are this pandering um, set of uh, behaviours that we all adopt trying to reflect back uh, the ego that's projected onto us and this is the state projecting on us this idea of what the model citizen is um, and how the model citizen behaves and that is to behave as a good consumer um, going through the official complaints and taking what is given that is a very corporate view of um, you know uh, orderly back straight bananas packed in you know standard packaging etc whereas the sort of rough and tumble democracy that we want is up the market down the market call me buy me darling we've got 19 going for a dozen here and uh, if you know what I'm saying you this this offer can't last you've got to get you know get, fill your boots and fill your bags you know uh, these prices can't last we're shutting up shop in five minutes you know the banter part of democracy and the street markets society interaction um, laughing and joking the joy and the, just the sheer joyous um, thing when I was a lad I used to go to Finmar, Finmere Market everyone used to buy their Dr Martins up at Finmere Market which is near Silverstone I was brought up in Oxfordshire um, and, uh, and used to wear Dr Martins and people used to go and get their leather jackets up there and their jeans and so uh, you know ev every few months or maybe once a year in my family's case it would be oh mum I need some new dockers or I want to buy some new Oxford bags or you know a new jacket you know can we go up Finmere and, and you know uh, ev every few months I might uh, sort of have saved up enough money from my uh, you know whatever part-time job I have at the time to go up Finmere Market and buy something um, or that's you know uh, back to school go up there and buy the Adidas bag and of course uh, that that was um, Finmere Market with the best prices around um, and uh, you know uh, so car boot sales or something of that um, you know antiques fairs uh, Let's put it this way, guys. This is the internet. This is the uh, Web3 part of the internet. I'm broadcasting this live, not via servers. Nobody can stop this broadcast unless my ISP I identifies my IP address and decides to shut down my IP address. Um, even that, through a VPN, I can, you know, 
I can do this all day long, every day, and um, you know, make a fool of myself without fear of being shut up. Um, so Web3 is the platform which we've chosen um, to develop, um, I don't see my mouse will come out, this, this idea here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, where are we? There, there she blows. I haven't got my glasses on. Where are we? Um, there it is. Right. So, um, recent. Let's just let's get him up here. Here we are. So, oh, it's uh, reduced to alpha. This is the logo, Wikis, Wiki Citizens, Wiki Votes. These are umbrellas and they represent um, our, our voters, our direct democracy, that is our polity. Um, and these unturned, upturned umbrellas are receptacles for uh, pulling together the votes of all these individual citizens up here. Um, and then these, these votes can then be collated and we can return um, our Canton Direct Democracy um, uh, Simpetico uh, candidates to the various sort of fora, forums, political or otherwise, um, that make up the big tent of national politics or even international politics. And that's what these two big circus tents are here. At the moment, it's a three circus, um, three ring circus of uh, the House of Lords don't want Brexit. The House of Commons don't want Brexit. And then there's a five ring circus at the EU, you know, uh, the Commission, uh, you know, our overlords, the oligarchs, choice, don't want Brexit. The Parliament don't want Brexit. The Commission, uh, uh, the ECB, all of these unelected, um, appointed uh which stand above and dictate to the Parliament, which is a supposedly elected um, forum in the EU, uh, which cannot propose legislation that has to come from the Commission. Now, the EU is not a democratic institution and has a, sought to overturn and ask citizens to have another go every time um, the populations have voted no. And that has to stop. Now, in or out Brexit, I've been agnostic on that because in or out it's a struggle. Reforming the EU from the inside, that's not an easy thing to do. Um, now, just on that, this excellent article um, has uh, been posted on uh, Off Guardian today, written by Frank Lee, who's an ex-civil servant. It really is an excellent article and I recommend anyone to uh, have a read of this article. Um, and uh, the, 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 the punchline uh, and the headline is the people have spoken, the bastards. And, and, and where that comes from is um, uh, uh, it was uh, coined by uh, apparently an American um, senator who'd been voted out uh, uh, previously. So here we are, this is the gold medal here. Finally, there was the Richard Tuck moment. The people have spoken, the bastards. Dick Tuck, uh, American politician's concession speech following his loss in the 1966 California State Senate election. The people have spoken, the bastards. And yes, that deserves a gold medal. Um, dead heat in Parliament yesterday. John Burko puts his casting vote. Um, where is this all headed? Well, um, I don't, no one really knows. I have my own pet theory as to what, what's likely to happen. Um, and uh, looking at the BBC website, Brexit in diagrams they, they have. Now I've got a window open here somewhere with, with, uh, with this Brexit in diagrams. Um, let me just, uh, here we are, Brexit in flowchart. So well, I've got that open here. So, um, this is the this is the one where I think we're going. Um, I think we're going to have a vote of no confidence, where what's going to happen is a cross-party group 
I was going to uh, prior to that vote of no confidence get together so that they can form a unity government Mrs May loses the vote of confidence and sets this up, stands aside and then the unity people will go to the Queen and uh, reckon they can win a confidence vote within 14 days that way a general election is avoided and a Brino type Brexit in line with whatever the compromises are <coughs> now what are those compromises how does that all work well this is a wonderful spreadsheet which has been uploaded um, and uh, this is on um, uh, wiki document not wiki documents on um, Google Google documents um, this Brexit spreadsheet so it's got the meaningful votes who voted for what, what the majorities were. It's got the indicative votes, who voted for what, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's got a live map, um, which shows uh, within each constituency um, the Brexit position of the, the, the MP and then basically who voted for what. Uh, in the uh, in the meaningful vote, that's meaningful vote three. Indicative votes again. Um, this is saying ignore it. I think this is a work in progress, and you can see uh, this is done on a alternative vote basis, and then ranking uh, ranking those things. Um, in <coughs> lots of direct dem democracy type things. Um, like for instance UKIP support a sort of direct democracy and um, a system of proportional representation uh, alternative vote is one of those there, there are several of these and all of these ideas and the um, explanations of all these things are what will be on the Canton direct democracy Canton model direct democracy wiki and the idea is that uh, it's an easy reference point, not written with any slant or spin, left or right, none of that. Basically, it's just going to say, look, here, here, here are the bare bones. Uh, and what we propose to do is code the launch pad um, and the components for placing whatever direct democracy rocket individual groupings in different constituencies feel that they need to construct from the components so there'll be rocket fuel there'll be uh, different uh, materials uh, there'll be different formula for which way to aim the mock you know uh, signals control systems all of that and you can all design your own bespoke rocket to blast up the arse of your own particular failings in democracy for whatever constituency it is you're concerned about so we don't want to make this just about brexit although it's inspired out of being ignored in brexit and what we're saying is this is that um we don't have a representative democracy although most people are given the impression that we do what we have is a competing um competing elites model of democracy which means that some elite person wins the public vote and then they feel that then gives them the, <coughs> the you know the ticket to get into parliament and do what the hell they like for whatever period of time they're voted there for now the chartists felt that um, uh, it should be an annual ballot uh, and that there should be a right of recall if people sent up to parliament weren't doing what they had actually persuaded everyone to vote them for that they would be doing now uh, clearly that isn't happening in lots of constituencies and then so this this spreadsheet can tell you uh, one whether your fellow voters in your constituency were for or against and in what percentage it can then say whether your MP was for or against what the majority consensus was in your constituency and what will also give you is the tools to be able to vote amongst yourself to put forward a candidate to replace your MP or to get behind an MP that has been for a sovereign Brexit and has been doing a good job. Um, I mean, some some 
back, the constituency back Wex bench MPs do do a great job. That's that's a fact. Some of them don't. Same goes for European Parliament MPs. Um, it, it, it's I mean it's as old as democracy, representative or otherwise. It's the same of oligarchy and well and, and, and despotism. <laughs> uh, you know for, since the year dot. Um, you know there's there's the good and the bad. And then there's the in between. Um, we, in my opinion, are a part of history right now, a period of history when uh, I do believe we're living in a cacistocracy. And cacistocracy, that really is a word, <coughs> caca shit, um, a shitocracy, uh, whereby we're ruled by the worst. The people, the people with the worst traits are getting to the top of the greasy pole because what they're doing is they're providing a kind of a, a prophylactic lubricant uh, which um, provides a barrier from the great unwashed, that's you lot and me, um, and then the elites and the oligarchs. And their job is to, uh, you know, basically be the sort of the, 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 the democricidal um, gel around the, 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 the sheath which, which, which surrounds the bubble in which these metropolitan elitists live. <coughs> I'm not going to go further with that metaphor. It could get I could get quite carried away with that. So anyway, who are we? Well, I'm Roger, um, and this is Roger's long-haired blog here. This is my blog. It used to be called Let Them Confect Sweeter Lies. Um, I'm just a regular. Uh, guy i live in sweden i've lived in sweden for nine years now we moved here uh, basically because my bankers ripped me off same bankers that ripped off noel edmonds i had accounts with lloyd's but i had accounts with keats um, and i had um, an rbs mortgage and uh, i had a clydesdale bank <coughs> which uh, basically <coughs> is part of a large australian banking group and it was them that they basically ripped me off. They stole my my estate. I was quite a rich guy, uh, and sold it for undervalue. And I'm now in the common parlance, potless, potless in Sweden. <coughs> yeah, rich in many sons, now exiled, penniless. Um, uh, uh, yeah. So that's enough of uh, of, of the deal. But but. I'm not going there, I'm not going there, but put it this way, I've been ripped off by banksters um, and been rubbing up against banksters all my business life um, and uh, not all bank, not all bankers are banksters, but all, all banksters are bankers, um, uh, just to sort of give a bit of flavour in there. So I stand with people like Noel Edmonds and you know, Noel's not short of a, a few bobs, his old manager is a guy called David Miles, who, who, who is the brother of a, a very old dear friend of mine called Tony Miles that used to do the Radio One Road show, uh, Smiley Miley. Um, so I, I retired to Bristol at a very young age after making an obscenely large amount of money um, in the Docklands. And, um, a, and uh, you know, I, then I grew my hair long, became a hippie, uh, found God, um, gave up drinking. <coughs> and whoring. Um, I, 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 I used to med self-medicate on uh, on strippers and alcohol, um, a little bit of white powder now and again, although I did prefer ease. Um, and uh, I, I'm an advocate for grass, you know, uh, that's marijuana. I think um, I, I don't agree with Peter Hitchens on that one. Um, I think if you've got some good, really old fashioned um, uh, grass, from one of the natural old um, grass strains, not one of the new hybrids or super sort of, uh, you know, not that stuff. Good old fashioned weed and get high uh, and love each other. I mean, that's why I like ease, but ease the chemical. I don't, you know, so I, I, ease are not good in my view. Uh, in fact, they're too good if you know what I mean. So, uh, but grass, grass is good. Um, now, I'm not saying people should go out and smoke a load of, of dope or anything, or, or, you know, it's each to their own. But I'm a libertarian. I, I, I don't go around telling other people what to do. So in terms of our launch pad, 
um, and what people want and what they get together to sort of send up to and instruct their people to do when they send them to uh, Parliament or you know the parish council or the uh, county council you know when you're electing your councillors it's the same thing you know uh, keep an eye on these people because um, rest assured the oligarchs keep an eye on this stuff and, and they're putting their own people forward and they are basically bending you over and um, poking their noses where they don't belong <coughs> and the EU does the same so um, uh, here we go <coughs> Uh, that's me, and then this is uh, John Ward. Um, comment I put on the the slog is is John's blog. Uh, this is his latest one. <coughs> yeah, Brexit breaking army order sheet to kill policy against Corbyn. John's a really funny writer, uh, and he and I have been putting our heads together uh, on how to put together this um, direct democracy blog. And and you, if you look at my blog and. Um, John hasn't written about it fully yet, he's, he's trailed it, um, but, but you'll see on my blog that there's an exchange between us, um, which uh, has led me to sort of get to the point now where on my GitHub, uh, my, my hacking name is Tone Freaks, and on my GitHub you'll see all the different repositories from which I'll be pulling in code to code this super lean super easy to use um, wiki and suite of apps which uh, people can use to do this sort of thing on IPFS. This is coming to you on Web3 on the interplanetary file system and the interplanetary file system is a super computer which lives in, um, <coughs> in, 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 in literally hundreds of thousands of computers and, and, and cryptocurrency mining rigs all over the world and servers plugged into that network providing <coughs> uh, basically um, remote storage which, where, whereby um, every file is served from every computer um, and pieced together when it hits your uh, computer your, your computer's central processing unit. You don't need to know how it works. I mean, if you knew how tor torrents worked, bit torrents and things, if you knew how computers send packages over HTTP, how, how that all works, um, it's interesting how all that works, but it's not necessary. It's like what we're giving you is a, is a fucking fast car which works, and it doesn't matter if it's an electric engine under the bonnet or electric motor or, or, or a petrol or a it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if this is steam driven it, it basically works um, and it keeps you safe from uh, censorship and also from um, uh, people putting black marks against your name for, for saying things they don't like for offending their feelings um, so uh, I don't do this anonymously. My name's Roger Lewis. You know, I, I, you know, I, I have an online legacy web presence. I've never tried to hide myself. I, I say what I mean and mean what I say. Um, and uh, uh, <coughs> that said, I do appreciate that people do have employers work for corporate people, whatever, work for the government, NHS, that sort of thing. And they, they're not allowed to say what they say. And therefore... Um, if you see this thing here, this is a QR code, and a QR code in Web3 world, that actually, what that does is it basically holds a, a, a string of, of, of numbers and letters, which is called a hash, and that hash um, can be anonymous um, to a person, but guarantees one person one vote. So it's an instance of... I am a free man, I am a number, or I remain a free man, I am a number, and that number can't be traced back to your physical person in your physical world address. Um, that's what Web3 does for us, that's what cryptography does for us, that's what blockchain does for us. So all of the demonization, the dark web stuff, the stuff about um, 
uh, cryptocurrencies and all that. So I said, oh, they crashed and they were worth something and they weren't. It's a Ponzi scheme. <clears throat> They'll keep that going, that, that kind of um, narrative. But people like me have been working on this stuff uh, for the last five years. Um, and here we are now at a time of uh, democratic crisis and democratic deficit in, in the United Kingdom. Uh, and these tools are available to us and uh, a whole community of open source developers out there can pile into this at any level, on any scale, whatever takes your uh, fancy, fill your boots. Um, and, uh, you know, hacking can be fun, people. And um, most hackers, like me, are white hat, 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 hat hackers. Um, and it's the black hats, a lot of them, are actually working for the NSA. Here's the big surprise. A lot of the viruses and things that infect your computers, who do you think puts them there? Who charges the commission for selling these things? Hmm, I wonder. Who puts the back doors into your phone? Who puts the back doors into your computer uh, software? Who puts the back doors into the embedded, um, embedded computer systems in your fridge or in whatever electronic device that you've got? So, yeah, um, Web3 in terms of circular economy, energy-based economy, um, all of the wonderful things that can be done with this technology. Um, EOS are very good. That, there's a thing called Everypedia, which I've put a couple of articles up explaining where we're headed with our own instance of this. Uh, just to recap, if I may, uh, it's uh, this instance of this. Um, Yeah, this instance of this, this is Wiki Citizens, Wiki Votes. There we are all up here, look, with our umbrellas. Um, there's an old joke, a bank will only lend you an umbrella if it's raining, uh, if it's not raining. Well, guys, it's raining for democracy at the moment, and, uh, you know, the gods of democracy are bawling their bloody eyes out, and we're saying, hey, here's an umbrella, here's an umbrella, and here's the umbrellas. You turn your umbrellas upside down, you put them together, and you've got a champagne of dem a, 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 a fountain of champagne democracy there, feeding into the different um, levels of uh, institutional sort of government, um, and we can repopulate those green benches. We can't repopulate the red benches, um, and I'm not even suggesting that you know that, that we need to. Um, the way things stand with the British Constitution, uh, as it all stands at the moment. It really can be fixed. We can fix our democracy in the United Kingdom. Can the EU be fixed? Mm, it's a harder job, people. It's a harder job. We can return a uh, EU parliament full of um, di uh, uh, Canton model direct democracy candidates. We could do that in the European Parliament. Would it make any difference? No, because they don't propose legislation. They, they're merely a rubber stamp for the um, for the Commission and the Council. So this is the point, you see. Um, and so if we want to change the EU, we first of all have to unravel uh, the damage that's been done to our British Constitution. Um, the same goes in the United States for restoring states' right, rights out there as well. You've got the federal takeover of power, and in turn, they've... Uh, demurred their own <coughs> um, uh, power to, to, to the United Nations uh, and this whole idea of the uh, um, uh, Mogherini at the EU is calling it the New World Order again. <coughs> Boris Johnson still goes on about the rules-based international order but he's one of them too people you know a supposed Brexiteer but no 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 that's that's it simply isn't the case that Boris Johnson gives a damn about uh, local democracy. Oh, what's his C? Is he tame, is he? Well, he's not tame, but he's maybe tame with an H. He's an Oxfordshire constituency. I think he's from that neck of the woods, isn't he? Um, and uh, listen, what we need to be doing is organising at a uh, fine-grained uh, subsidiary level, right down to our... Well, I, Personally, I would arrange constituencies around my favourite boozers. You know, um, 
one of my old jokes about navigating in London is I used to navigate by pubs, you know, turn left at the King's Head, right at the George, straight on from the George, take it for a mile, da da down to uh, the Marcus uh, of, of Queensbury, round the corner from there to the Old Duck, up, 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 up a little bit along the Canal Path to the uh, Lock Keeper's Arms, uh, and then there we are, lovely, you're there, uh, your mate in number five, uh, Acacia Crescent, <coughs> lives just down the bottom of the pub car park, round the corner there. I mean, who, who, who can say they haven't um, given people directions by, 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 by pubs? Um, and again, they say the old joke about the farmer lent on the gate and the guy that goes up to him and says, well, how do I get... How do I get to London from, uh, how do I get to London? And the farmer says, oh, you see, if I were you, I wouldn't start off from here. Well, again, with our democracy, with, 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 with where we are, with Brexit, Brino, um, <coughs> uh, you know, all of these different options that are being served up by this, you know, um, metropolitan elite skinny latte lot, um, None of the options they're putting on the table are really being designed for a whole system overhaul. Um, I'm a great believer in the old maxim, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is broke, we need to fix it. How do we fix it? Well, everybody needs to fix their little part, and so we'll start from our subsidiary levels. Therefore, um, what we will do, uh, and we'll continue to broadcast to you over the different legacy web uh, channels, uh, including fast becoming legacy web channels, BitChute and DTube, um, over things like Steam it, uh, um, I'm going to port my blogs onto something called Hugo, which is a, um, a web hosting, static web hosting uh, thing on top of IPFFS. Uh, IPFF. Um, so I'm going to put this WordPress uh, uh, blog on there. And, and um, how do you do that? Uh, well, Rather, ra rather, rather helpfully. Um, let me if I can just find this. Where are we? Um, it's here somewhere. Mum, here we are. Look, Hugo and IPFS. How this blog works and scales to serve five thousand percent sites instantly with Blue Ink. This is how you put your WordPress blog onto IPFS, meet IPFS. So here's the link up here. I'll put the links in the description. Um, uh, John and I, John Ward and I, will get out the, uh, the bare bones launch pad and components um, for you to build your own local launch pad and put together your own democratic uh, direct democracy rockets together uh, to, um, to to take this one uh, uh, take this one down to the wire we're going to win this people um, and we're going to restore our democracy and these are the tools we're going to use to do it so if you've listened this far um, I'm not sure if the stream has come out live this is the first time I've done this I loaded this onto my system today I'm broadcasting using something called um, if you caught the beginning of this, uh, I, I use this uh, OBS, uh, Open Broadcasting System. It's free on Linux. I, I use Linux. Um, you can see this is a Linux desktop here. Um, and um, what's happening here? How come that's all disappeared? Oh, well, that's interesting. It's gone. Ah, right. Okay. Right. Oh, I see, that's what I've done, is it? <laughs> okay, right, right. So, um, yeah, I've got three screens on my desk. Two of them uh, are plugged into my Mac Pro, and the other one's plugged into my, uh, my mining rig. Um, and I'm going to stick a server on that to serve files onto my IPFSS, IPFS. Um, but... Um, for the geeks out there, you'll know what I'm talking about. For everyone else, it will be eyes rolling to the back of their head. But like I say, um, this this is uh, this is where we're up to. It's all 
jolly exciting and uh, coming together as rather well. In blue ink, that's this thing here, or with blue ink. Um, all good stuff. Uh, <coughs> if you look on my um, Tone Freak GitHub, you'll see a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm working on and working with. Uh, so fill your boats, get involved, um, and uh, you know start doing your own thing locally too. Um, so let's see uh, if I where are we? Where is the stream supposed to be going out from? Um, <coughs> I really don't know if I've started or not. But anyway, I'm going to stop recording.